Hello and welcome. Today, I want to talk about Daryl. Now, somebody put a comment down below one of my videos and said, I want you to do a, a, uh, I want you to do a presentation on Daryl. I, I looked, I, I wrote it down, you know, when I, when I read your comments, I very often take notes of things that I want to follow up on and get back to you on, and I wrote down the person's name and lost it. Then I went back and searched and searched through, uh, through old presentations looking for maybe that comment. Never found it. So whoever you are, I apologize. I love to name you by name and say, hey, this person asked me to do this. I was asked to do, uh, uh, to, to do something on Daryl. Uh, I, I don't know who uh, actually asked me that, but it was a request and I really appreciate your request. They, they make me feel like I'm doing something significant here. I, I believe I am doing something significant, but when you make a request, I know that I'm meeting a specific need of at least one person. And I have to assume that if one person is interested, many more probably are. So, hey folks, let's talk about Daryl. Daryl Easton, born Daryl Martinez, August 13, 1955 in San Jose, California. Crossed over February 24, 2017. I want to, uh, I'm not sure how exactly to deal with this. Um, Dustin Stinnett did an excellent memoriam in Genie Magazine. I think I, I have the memoriam right here that I printed out. I believe this particular magazine, it was April 2017, published in Genie Magazine, April 2017. Uh, Daryl passed away February 2017. Dustin Stinnett reported in Genie Magazine that Daryl took his own life while at the Magic Castle. What is reported is that he hung himself at the Magic Castle. I know this is, uh, if you did not already know that, uh, I'm sorry to be the one to inform you of that. Uh, it, it was a tragedy. Uh, I think any time a person commits suicide, I mean, death is a tragedy. You know? It's, it's uh, I, I don't want to lose anyone. Um, and, and I have had to deal with suicide myself. In, 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 I, I would imagine that if I asked you, if you were sitting here with me and I said, has suicide touched your life? You would probably say yes. Uh, it, it is a, uh, <clears throat> it's a horrible thing. And, and my heart goes out to the, I mean, he, he was married and he had children. So um, Daryl had a family uh, and it's just, um, it's, it's heartbreaking. But having said that, uh, Daryl is one of the greats. One of the greats. I mean, I, I think as history moves forward, uh, we're going to look back on Daryl the way we look back on Anaman as, as a mentalist. Um, you know, Anaman's the other one that comes immediately to mind when I think of Daryl's story. Uh, he, he often billed himself as the magician's magician. And by the way, I was able to meet Daryl. I did not know Daryl. I, I did not get to know him at all. But back in the day before, before there was so much magic on YouTube and video, uh, back in those days, um, you had to go to a magic lecture to meet these guys. You had to go to a magic lecture to be exposed to their material. And so the clubs, the Society of American Magicians, and uh, and Denny's Denny the, the Denny and Lee uh, Magic uh, Studio, and and the International Brotherhood of Magicians, and these people would bring the lecturers around. You know, I, I was able to meet Michael Lamar, I was able to meet Doc Hilford, I was able to meet Daryl. So I attended his lecture. I, I saw him work in person. Uh, as I go through this biography and I tell you 
about the things he accomplished. I, if you don't already know this, um, he's one of the most accomplished magicians I have ever encountered. Uh, he, he actually was, he achieved so much in his lifetime. It's, it's just staggering. I, I'm going to lay it out here for you. I'm going to lay it out here as a matter of record. In 1962, at the age of seven, a friend's family uh, presented him with a Svengali deck. And he was fascinated with this deck and he learned to use it. And that is what started him down the road of magic at the age of seven. He began performing street magic. He was busking in his teen years in San Diego. He also performed at Shakey's Pizza. So he now picture this. He's busking. He's doing restaurant magic. And he performed at the Magic Cellar Saloon under Earthquake Magoon's Jazz Club in San Francisco, which reportedly is where he came up with the phrase jazz magic. Now, jazz magic is sort of improvising based on the situation. It's having enough of a repertoire and such a good knowledge of the repertoire that you can improvise and meet the exact needs of the people that you're performing for. Daryl was expert at this before he was out of his teen years. In 1973, when he was 18 years old, he performed at an exhibition held by the Kaiser Aluminum Company. So he's doing, now he's going from busking and restaurant magic to doing what we call corporate magic. He's presenting product with magic at the age of 18. He also presented his first lecture to magicians in 1973 at the age of 18. 1976, he became a counter demonstrator at the Great American Amusement Park Magic Shop. So, he's a busker, he's a restaurant entertainer, he's a corporate magician. He performs in a magic bar, and he's a demonstrator. I mean, when, when you put all that together, you have a recipe for incredible proficiency in the art of magic. And this is how Daryl developed as a performer. He started performing at the Magic Castle, the premier performance venue in magic in 1980. In 1982, Daryl won FISM. If you're not familiar with FISM, it's the Olympics of Magic, and he won the gold medal, 1982. 1996 to 2003, he's performing in Las Vegas at Caesar's Magical Empire, Caesar's Palace. So now he's got the Vegas contract, 2003. 1999, he does a world tour, a world lecture tour. I think that's when I saw him. I think it was 1999. Uh, 2001, he performs at the inauguration celebration for President George Bush. Uh, I, I alluded to his death earlier. I'm not going to uh, say any more about that. I'm going to go over some of his awards. Now, I, I told you his venues. Uh, by the way, I have heard it said, I don't know who said it, I, I love the reference, but I've heard it said that there's not a magician working today who, whose repertoire has not been touched by Daryl. And I believe that to be the case. I, I think this man has so influenced magic that you'd be hard pressed to pick up a magic book or to learn certain routines today that have not had the Daryl touch on them. So let me go through some of his accomplishments. 1978, he becomes the IBM San Diego Tournament winner. 1980, Academy of Magical Arts awards him the Magician of the Year. 1980, 1981, Academy of Magical Arts Magician of the Year. 1982, he's the FISM gold medalist in the close-up category. I'm not absolutely certain, but I believe he won 
based on his ambitious card routine, which is stellar. In 1985, he is the Desert Magic Seminar winner in Las Vegas. 1986, Academy of Magical Arts Parlor Magician of the Year. 1987, Academy of Magical Arts Parlor Magician of the Year. 1988, Academy of Magical Arts Lecturer of the Year. 1992, Academy of Magical Arts Lecturer of the Year. Darrow published the following books. 1980, Secrets of a Puerto Rican Gambler. 1980, For Your Entertainment Pleasure. 1987, Darrow's Ambitious Card Omnibus. 1988, Darrow Does Den Ha. So Darrow was well published, but it, it, it is his instructional videos that I remember Darrow for. Darrow's Encyclopedia of Card Slights, eight volumes. Darrell's Fuller Duelers, three volumes. Darrell's Card Revelations, five volumes. Expert Rope Magic Made Easy, three volumes. And the Master Course in Sponge Balls, four volumes. Uh, in addition, you can find, once again, I refer to this, this article. This is the uh, mem this memorial that was done by Dustin Stinnett in Genie Magazine, April 2017. So once again, I don't remember who asked me to do a presentation on Daryl. Whoever you were, thank you so much. I'm sorry, I don't remember. Uh, but thank you. And I appreciate your comments. Please comment down below. Please subscribe if you've not done so already. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day, everyone.